hi girls how are you um i just wanted to go ahead and record a another haul collectively um getting some stuff so it's from a few weeks and i just wanted to share that with you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with clothes and shoes first and then i'll move on to um the makeup part of it so two so I got two pairs of boots from the website Hot Look, which if you guys are not aware of it, it's kind of like a flash sale um, that you can uh, buy discounted stuff, mainly from designers and stuff. So they have stuff for men, children, home, beauty, anything you can think of, basically they have it. And it does not last um, for a long time, it lasts a few days and then it disappears. And sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. So I got two boots. Um, this one's from the brand Ziggy Girl, Ziggy Girl, and um, I've already worn these, just wanted to show you guys these, I love these boots, um, see the detail right here, there's a zipper that you can put down, bring up, so I love these boots, I've been wearing them with um, maxi skirts and dresses and stuff, and of course jeans, but the second pair that I got is um, from the from the brand Pinky, and I have not had a chance to put these on. But these are some high knee boots. These are really pretty, and if you fold them, see the back. You fold them, they have like a suede um, material here, which I'm not a big fan of, but I mean. I have to try it to before I judge it. So this is the boots that I got. I believe each of them were $50. I got this flannel shirt from Costco. It was only $15. I got it in a large, which I regret it now. Um, because I should have it should have been a medium, it's a little bit too big. But I'm pretty sure they don't have any more. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it and, you know, make it work. I'll make this shirt work. So I got that. And then I got these. These are like some leggings. They're really thick material. I really love them. And this is the detail that they have by the knee. I got these at Forever 21. And these were $14.80. Can't go wrong with leggings for the fall. I got this top at um, H&M. And I love the detail at the bottom because it has lace. So it's it's a long tunic, tunic shirt. And um, definitely want to pair it with those leggings. And then I also got these. That shirt I believe was... That shirt I believe was $15. Um, and then I got these jeans. They're boyfriend low-waisted from H&M as well. I got those. These were on sale for $15. And this top is so pretty. I got this one at H&M too. This one was only $9.95. See that? And look at the back with the buttons right here. That one's really pretty. At Old Navy, I got um, a few tank tops. V-necks. Got this one. To pair it with also with those boyfriend jeans and some cute heels and then i got this one to put under my blazer because i have two blazers that match that color and then i also got this one so another one for my boyfriend jeans and you can dress it up with some heels and then i got this cute um kind of dressy top you can always dress it up or dress it down it's like an orange one zipper right here and I got it on sale they had like a 40% off um, everything so this one was $19.94 originally and the tank tops were $9.50 each but again I got everything 40% off so yeah moving on to makeup and beauty um, so yeah moving on to makeup and beauty now so first I got these um, at CVS they're the new Man Milani, um, you see that? The new Milani Constellation, Constellation Gel Eyeliner. 
and this one is in the color black opal and enchanted lapis lapis I've been hearing um, reviews about them that they are good but that the shimmery part is only on the top layer it um, it basically you know after that it's just like a simple color so I'm a little disappointed but you know I'm gonna try them out and see how that looks so I got these two and then um, at Macy's I got another SD Lauder double wear just because the other one I'm running low on so I have to get a backup at Sephora I got a um, the Formula X base coat, which I got this recommendation from Coffee Break with Danny. Um, so yeah, so I just need to get the top coat in order for to get the little mix that she does. And from Ulta, I got this Essence um, Match to Cover Cream Concealer. It's a you know it's a cheaper brand but um i i have their blush and i believe a lipstick so i really i like it so far so i'm gonna try these out and hopefully they don't crease at rite aid i got a um physician's formula bronze booster and it says it's new it's a light to medium and it's a bb beauty balm so it's basically a bronzer plus bb cream benefits it's protecting moisturizing smoothing brightening and light softening um and i got these at 40 percent off and i also got the physician's formula matte collection quad eyeshadow which it kind of reminds me of the new naked two basics um i'm gonna have to you know compare the colors at walmart i got this um original formula air spun loose face powder and this one's naturally neutral just like a setting powder. I mean, I've heard about this on YouTube, so I just wanted to try it out. And then I got two more of the brush, the brush guards. For either these are for cleaning, travel, and storage. So basically, you put your brushes in here. Um, so it base it says keep the get keep them at their best with the brush guard. It's brushes last longer, bristles dry, soft, and in perfect shape. Um, delicate bristles stay safe. Makeup is clean and fresh. Brushes pack safely for travel and storage. And um, yeah, so it has like extra small shadow, um, a small, which is for your blush, a medium for your foundation, and a large for a powder or kabuki. So it comes with a total of four, five, six of them. So yeah, got two of those. All right, it. I got the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Makeup. Um, so I wanted to try this one out and hopefully, you know, it's good for me. I got this one in the color... What are you? Ay -ay -ay. Okay, 310 Warm Golden. I also got this Revlon Brow Fantasy Pencil and, Pencil and Gel. I got it in the color light brown. But if you notice, it's just basically the pencil for your eyebrows and the gel here. So it seemed interesting, so I wanted to give that a try. I tried the Maybelline one, and I did not like the brush, so I ended up returning that. I believe I got this Revlon stuff 40% off as well. Um, so I got the Revlon Photo Ready Powder in the color 02, 020 Light Medium. And I also got it in the Translucent Finisher. I wanted to try these out because... It seems like I'm going to hit pan on my Too Faced powder and it's, I mean, it's a little f expensive. It's about $30, so I did not want to rebuy it. I wanted to try something else. Rebuy it. Purchase, repurchase it. Um, I also got this, what is this one? I believe it's Maybelline. I got this Maybelline um, Sandstone Shimmer Quad and 60Q. These colors are so pretty. So I might be doing a tutorial just using this quad. And then this color, a Smoky Coal 150S, and it's also Maybelline. I wanted to swatch this just because it looks so pretty. There you go. So, um, I believe I got this one at CVS as well. This is the, um, the new, well, it's not new, but I got the newest, newest Salma Hayek Liquid Foundation. And is this is in the color light, medium, cool. It's 275. That's how it looks. I also wanted to do a review on this one. At Ulta, I got 
this NYX Simply Red Lip Cream. It's like a crayon. This is in the color SRO2. These are basically always sold out everywhere I go. I've been trying to get like the burgundy ones, but they never have them. But that is so pretty right here. It's this one right here. It's so creamy. You see that? So I got this one, and then I also got the um, Chunky Dunk in the color 02, CDHL02 Peachy Fuzzy. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's right here. This one is more like a balm. And it has a little bit of color. So I got these two. I got two lipsticks from that brand um, Essence. This one in the color 11 Nude Love. Right here. It's like a pinky nude. And then I also got the color Barely There in uh, number 06. I'm going to put this one. This one is so pretty. This one is right there. These are really creamy. I just don't know if they're long lasting. I have to, you know, try them out. I got this color, this blush from City Color, Be Matte Blush. I got this one um, in the outdoor swap meet near my area. I do live in um, the Inland Empire in California. Um, I do, I did get one from one of my subscription monthly subscription boxes. So I'm. I wanted to try another color out, and this was in the color Blackberry. Let's see if you guys can see this watch. And that is the color right there. So yeah, I got that one. It's a pretty good size. Got um, the City LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. And this one is a color Whisper. I'm running out of space. These are like really, they're really um, liquid, liquidy. So that's the first color right here. Let's see, you can see that. And the other one I got in Blushing. Oh, I squirted it too much. They're so pigmented. So this is the one I got right here. So this is one and this is the other one right there. Careful with that. So I also got this from J Cat Beauty called the Wonder Lip Paint. Um, this is in the color Wonderland. These remind me of the OCC Lip Tarts. And this is how this one looks. It's a little too way different for me. But I really wanted to give it a try. I mean, again, I got it in the outside Swami, so it wasn't too, a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try it out. And then I got this um, Wet n Wild Techno in 133 um, Cream Eyeshadow Pencil. It's like a purple color. I'm going to use this as a base for my purples. See it right there. So yeah... I think I got that one for free for buying um, this blush right here, which is in the color Berry Shimmer. And. Which is that one right there. So pigmented. It's like a burgundy color. It's really pretty and pigmented. So it's right there. So yeah, I got that one for free for, for purchasing the blush. And then I got the uh, Milani Babe blush in the color Red Vino. It's really shimmery, so I have to really try it out just because I'm really oily. I'm almost done. I got a um, L'Oreal, two L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal, huh? 24 hour inf infallible eyeshadows in the color Smoldering Plum and Purple Priority. And so these are the two colors. So this one's Smoldering Plum. And this one is purple priority. How pretty is that purple one right there? So yeah, these are the two colors that I got. I got five cream um, eyeliners, and the first one that I got is ugh, the first one that I got is from Elf. It's in the color um, coffee, so it's like a brown cream. 
So I wanted to try out the brand Elf, so that's why I got the brown on this in this brand. And then I got the uh, NYX Gel Liner and Smudger in the color Teal. And I got these three, okay, I got a Maybelline, um, one in the color Eggplant, which is like a purple color. Let's see if I can swatch this one. You can see it right there. Want to explore with my eyeliners. These two are from L'Oreal, and this one's in the color Dark Slate, which I did use in one of my tutorials. Um, so it's like a gray toned one. And then I got the um, blue, the navy, 172, which it's pretty dr dr dark, dr dark right there. So yes, yeah, so I got these. I got three eyeshadows from Sally's, which is called Sally Girl, and this is in the color black, no brick house. It's like a burgundy color. And let me swatch. These are actually, they were only a dollar, I believe, and they have really good pigmentation. I just don't know, I mean, how they apply in the eye. But that's this one right here. The lighting doesn't, you guys can see that. So yeah, that's that one. And then I got it in the color, another one I got in the color Your Majesty. It's like a yellow. right there you guys can see that and then the last one is the color wine whoa this one's like super pigmented and that's the one right there the last things that I got are from MAC um, select cover up and this is how it looks that's their concealer. This is in the color NW20. And then I got four of their matte, new matte lipsticks that they came out with. Well, one of them is old. Um, so one of them is called Styled in Sophia, the brown color. One is in the color Heroin, which of course you guys all know about that one, I'm pretty sure. Just like a purple color. And another one is called Velvet Teddy. Actually, this one wasn't part of their matte one. I got three of their matte ones. And then I got one just to get it. Um, so this is Velvet Teddy. The last one that I got was Living Legend. Which is like a dark, vampy color. So I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.